For me, the spotted owl is the star of my favorite poop and throw up story. I mean, ecological loop story. Ecological loop, for example, is a cycle where living things help each other, like trees feeding a fungi, and that fungi feeding rodents, rodents feeding an owl, and an owl helping trees. The spotted owl is an ambush predator, often sitting silently in the branches of a big old Douglas fir tree, and it's looking down from those high branches for a red-backed vole to strike, kill, and eat. and knows that under a dug fir tree is a great place to hunt. And that's because the red-backed vole, one of Spotted Owl's favorite foods, also hunts underneath of dug fir trees. And those voles are hunting for their favorite food, which is a rhizopogon truffle. A rhizopogon what? A rhizopogon truffle. It's an underground, nutrient-dense, smells really good fungi that kind of, if you dig one up, it kind of looks like a marshmallow monster's brain. When a vole eats a truffle, when a vole eats a truffle, sorry, I didn't know I was going to do that. Anyways, when a vole eats a truffle, the spores go through it and come out of its droppings. Unless that vole gets eaten by a spotted owl first. If it does, those same spores survive and they'll come out of the owl's doo-doo or the owl's throw-up, scat or pelletized pellet. Because you know owls throw up all the hair and bones. So the spores in that vole's belly, once it gets into the spotted owl's belly, gets airlifted to new tree roots, new forests, maybe new parks. And Doug first welcome new rhizopogon truffles because the fungi that makes those truffles helps make healthier trees by breaking down decaying matter and, and helping the tree get more nutrients that way. And then it takes photosynthase because, you know, trees, they got the green leaves they make photosynthesis sugars, and it passes those to the truffle via the roots. So they have this mutualistic relationship. However they travel inside of a vole and a spotted owl, they the spores of the rhizobugon truffle survive and get pooped or thrown up out and connect with new trees. But if a forest is clear cut and all the wood is haul away, hauled away or burnt, then this ecological loop, the system falls apart. The fungi stop producing truffles. The voles starve to death and die. The spotted owls can't find any food and the dug fir trees get weaker and weaker and maybe die out. It's a perfect ecological loop. Owls need the big old growth dug fir trees for nesting habitat and to create the habitat that its prey items like flying squirrels and redback voles like. The trees need the fungi to thrive. The fungi needs the vole to spread its spores. And the vole is a great food source for the spotted owl. Break any part of the circle and all four species are at risk. You can learn more about Redwood Rising and how we help restore owl habitat at redwoodrising.org.